Good morning, guys. Right now we are on our way over to my cousin Sherry's house. We're gonna have brunch there. I had to wake up really early. We usually do dinner, but everyone there are football people, so they wanted us to come early and they're busy, so we're headed over there right now. <laughs> My dad terrorizing the dog. I am being approached by a chicken. I'm speaking chicken like they do. Oh my gosh, there's more. I'll talk to them like they do in Arrested Development. So that was random. Brunch at my cousin's was really good, except I was there early in the morning and everyone was in their pajamas. So my cousins were like, can you please not vlog? <laughs> so I, I respected that, so I didn't vlog my, my little brunch at my cousin's house. Uh, right now I met up with my friend Emma. I'm at her house right now. She lives on a farm out in my hometown. So I'm out here playing with all the animals. I was just with John, but I left him a little bit ago. He went to go hang out at his friend's house and watch some football, and I lucked out. My friend was in town. She doesn't live in Northfield anymore, but comes back every once in a while, and I managed to catch her, so now we're hanging out. Look, you guys, I caught a chicken. These chickens are so nice. I thought chickens weren't nice, because I used to get chased by chickens when I was little. But this one's so friendly. Aww. Have you ever seen the movie 16? Like their head never moves? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It always stays like the right way. Whatever it's called. What am I trying to say, Emma? Uh, stays upright? Yeah. I don't know. You're a nice chicken. Oh. Don't touch their feet. It's so gross. Why? They're, they walk in sh poo. <laughs> Can I keep this one? Ask my mom. <laughs> Take it to California. Goodbye, chicken. Fly away! They can't fly, can they? No. Chickens can't fly? No. Okay. If you throw them high enough, they do. <laughs> Hi, goats! Oh my gosh, look at that goat is in a little house! I love that. What are you talking about? Are you a mean chicken? See, why do they... Maybe they just want to be my friend. I think maybe that's what scared me about chickens when I was younger. Do you all just want to be my friend? They're all coming to me. Okay, so I have a really funny goat story for you guys. My friend Emma was out here visiting her parents and she had her car parked outside and her little brother was outside and opened up her car door and put not one, but two goats in the back seat of her car and then shut the door. So these goats were inside Emma's car and like totally destroyed it a little bit. They were pooping in the car and they ate some of her seats. I mean, I think this is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life, but I'm sure it's a lot funnier when it didn't happen to your car. <laughs> oh my gosh, would you look what's in here? Should I talk to him? <laughs> That's what he says. They can never bathe, though. What you feeding him? Some oats. Right here, Buck. What's this horse's name? Uh, Batty. And oh, you Batty's still around? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you had Batty when Since I was five. Yeah, Ow, I remember. Be, I remember Batty from like first grade. Baby's not stuff. Hi. This is it's Daddy. nice to see you again. And this is Jack. Jack the jackass. It's a Yukon Jack, like the really cheap whiskey. <laughs> Stop it. And, and the sheep. This is Ba. So do sheep get along with horses and donkeys? Oh yeah. Ba is actually a baby doll sheep, so she is supposed to be like. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at your noises. <laughs> Look at your noise. <laughs> Uh, I love poop. I don't mind poop at all. I love it. I eat it for breakfast. I'm just rich. kidding. That's really gross. There's a horse behind you. Oh, hi, horsey. Hello, Bubby. Hi. Ah, 
Is he nice? Why is he wiggling his ears at me like a hippopotamus? He's peeing. Oh, okay. I thought they do that when they get mad. No. The sheep. This baby. Hi. It's nice to meet I you. I bottle fed you from when you were just two days old. Well, then they say when hippopotamuses wiggle their ears, they're going to attack you. Okay. But <laughs> they're kind of similar. Not at all. So I've been friends with Emma since first grade, I believe. So I think Emma is definitely the longest friend I've ever had, <laughs> or that I've kept. You know what I'm trying to say. But I love coming out here, and I loved coming out here when I was younger. There's just so many fun animals to look at and play with. So, okay, we're gonna go check out a miniature horse who just had a baby. And by just had a baby, I mean she had a baby in April. Hello, little horse. That's the mama. Hi, Mama. And here's the baby horse. Oh, I'm trying to back up so I can film you, but you just want pets. You just want to be pet. I'll try to get a good view of ya. <laughs> I try to back up to film it and it starts following me. Oh my gosh, everyone's following me. <laughs> well, aren't I popular today? So what's the baby's name, Emma? Nell. Nell, and what was the mom's again? Lucy. Lucy. All these animals are so nice. I was like, geez, Emma, everyone's so friendly. And she says it's around feeding time. So is that why you guys are being extra nice? Hmm, Mr. Jack? Are you a little beggar? Mmm, flaming hot Cheetos. I love Cheetos. Mm -hmm. So it is my last night in Minnesota. I'm hanging out with my mom. I'm back at my mom's house. Emma dropped me off not too long ago and she went to go study because she's in school right now. But I'm just hanging out. I'm still wearing my coat. Oh my gosh, it got so cold in Minnesota. It's ridiculous. I just packed a bunch of warm clothes to come here because I heard it was warm and I ended up being so cold I had to buy a sweatshirt and then I ended up buying this jacket. So I still got it on. The temperature is dropping. Fall is here. Fall is falling upon us. And now I'm eating ice cream. Are you? I don't believe you. You want to taste? That's not ice cream. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> There's no way. How? It has ice in it and cream. It's a sherbet. So? Sherbet is an ice cream. How do you know? Because I know everything. I'm a scientist. Okay. Have you done a research paper on it? Yep. Five. Okay. Did you get an A minus? Plus. I did. You can ask any of the people who watch my YouTube videos. They know that I do research papers on ice cream and I'm a scientist. And by A plus, you mean an F. Nope. Because in your language, A plus is... What do you mean my language? Who do you think you are? Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I don't see why John likes you. Why? I'm cute and I'm fun. You are since when? 1976? I wasn't even alive in 1976. Oh, were you, Grandma? Hi, Hi Mom. Joke? I have a joke, guys. Okay. Okay. How did the onion... Wait. No! No, no. telling my joke! How did the onion... No. What did the onion say to the tomato? Tomato when the, the tomato is losing the race. Ketchup. Good job! <laughs> and to all YouTube fans, that's my joke. She's stealing... Did you make it up? Yeah. Here's another joke I made up. What you call I don't buffet? think you made it up, Andre. Yeah, I did. What you call a buffet that only serves bread? A what? A buffet that only serves bread. What? Crummy. Crummy <laughs> buffet. So first of all, uh, you were. I heard you say that it was getting colder and colder in Minnesota. You heard me vlogging? Yes. Well, I just heard you say. Mom, that. eavesdropping is rude. Sorry. You know what else is rude? Your face. Okay, Andre. Andre, that was really. Mom, <laughs> 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 um, you do not say that stuff on YouTube. I listened to a radio program that we have here in Minnesota. Um, it's called Prairie Home Companion. Right. And uh, I heard two jokes that made me crack up. So one was about hell. You know, people are supposed to be unhappy in hell. Right. So uh, a bunch of Minnesotans was sent to hell 
and um, the devil came to talk with them and he got really upset because what they were very happy because it was much warmer in hell than it was in Minnesota so he got really upset mm -hmm. and he uh, made the hell freeze over and the Minnesotans were happy again they say yes the Vikings won because everybody says that the Vikings will win when the hell freezes over oh! <laughs> You! Lola, what do you think of the jokes? Lola, what do you think? Lola, hi Mariachi! Mariachi and Lola! <laughs> what? What's that? Timmy's stuck in the well? <laughs> do you guys know those Breathe Right strips that you put on your nose at night so you breathe a little better? I'd been wearing them for the past few nights and it bruised the bridge of my nose. Has anyone ever had that happen to them too? My nose is bruised now. Well, it's getting late. I have to wake up early in the morning. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. and have my mom drop me off at John's mom's house and then we're leaving, driving back to California. But I guess my little sister and I are gonna have one last rock band jam session. Jam session, session. I sounded like Sean Connery for a second before we go to bed. So let's rock out. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. Just like that river twisting through the dusty land. And when she shines, she really shows you all she can. Oh, Rio, Rio, dance across the Rio Grande. Have a headache. Alrighty, tidy love muffins. Now it's time for me to change into some PJs and go to bed. I love you guys. Always remember that. And stay tuned for more vlogs. Oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> Good night. Mwah.